by default, when you include a menu in your Storyline Player, it's going to contain all of the scene titles and the slide titles in your whole course. And the way it works is the slide titles are going to show up a little bit indented to the right underneath the name of the scene that they belong to. But there might be some cases where you want to hide some of your slide titles from appearing in your menu. Like one example is if you've got some slides that you're using in a light box. Like here's one where the learner clicks on this button and that's going to bring up a different slide in a light box over top of the player and the you know other content that they were looking at. And I really only want this slide to be accessible from this button that we just clicked. I don't want that slide to show up in this menu at all. In fact, I've got a couple slides like that. Here's another one. In the upper right, I've got a little custom tab, and that too is going to display some lightbox content. And again, I don't want this slide to show up in my menu. I've got this custom tab that I've created for it, so I, I want to remove it from the menu completely. In fact, I've already done that. I've customized this menu a little bit, and I'll show you how I did it. Another example of slides that you might want to hide from your menu is if you've created a screen recording. And I've got a couple of examples here where I created a view and a try series of slides from a screen recording. And when you create a screen recording, every single action is captured as its own slide. And that's really cool, but if you don't want every single action to show up as its own title in the sidebar, you don't have to make it like that. You can remove the titles that you don't want. In fact, I've done that in this one already. So let's go ahead and close this and I'll show you how you can modify your menu like this. So we're on the Home tab and we're going to click the Player button. That's going to bring up the Player Properties Manager and we want to choose Menu. And this is going to list all of your scene titles and your slide titles. And I'm just going to go ahead and click this Reset from Story button because like I mentioned, I have already modified this menu and I want to show you what it looked like before I did that. So when we click Reset from Story, suddenly we have all these other slide titles that come in that are part of our course, right? So like here's one of the um, screen recordings, here's the other one that's a simulation, and then I also created a separate scene for my couple of lightbox slides, right? So a couple ways that you can remove these from the menu. If you want to just pick and choose and maybe have a couple of slides that you don't want to show up in the menu, you can just select the slide and then click on the X button down here to remove it. And that's only going to remove it from the menu. It's not going to get rid of the slide or any of the slide content. It'll still be part of your course. It's just that it's not going to show up in the menu anymore. Another way is if you want to remove the whole scene, you don't have to go through and delete each of these titles individually. You can select the scene title and then click the red X and you'll get this little confirmation. And if you want to really remove all of the um, slides within that scene, you can click remove. And now they're all removed for you. So I'll go ahead and do that to the others that we don't need here. So I'm going to remove the light box slides as well. And now our uh, menu is looking pretty good. Now, if you change your mind, if you go through and make a bunch of deletions and then you're like, oh, I really think I want to go back to what it was before, a couple ways you can do that. You can use this button that we saw a minute ago that says Reset from Story, and that's going to bring everything back in. So it's going to bring every scene title, every slide title in your course. Or if there's just a couple slides or maybe one slide or a handful of slides that you want to add back into your menu, you can choose this little folder icon that's called the Insert from Project button. And if I click on that, it's going to give me a list of all of the slides in my whole course. And if there's some that I want to add back in, I would just you know select the slide, or I could do a shift click or a control click to select multiple slides and then add it back in. Now once it comes in, you might want to move it around. Like if you want to put it in a different place in the list or you want to indent it, you can do that. You can use these um, buttons down here to move any item up or down, or you can change the indentation if you want to. So it's pretty handy to be able to modify your menu in this way, and it's uh, real easy to hide slides from appearing in your menu if you don't want them to show up there.